the main submarines currently operated by the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force are the Oyashio class, the Shoryu class, and the most recently the Take class. The Take class, also known as the Big Whale, the first of its class with the hull number the SS-513 will become the first representative of a new class of attack DSR electric submarines. The Big Whale was launched on October 14, 2020, scheduled to enter service in 2022. The project has accumulated more than 10 years of research developed by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. The result is a product dubbed a pioneer for a number of entirely new technologies. A total of three Take class submarines are expected to be built, each costing more than $600 million. This design formerly known as the 29SS class, was named after the 29th year of the Akihito dynasty in Japan. Take is the successor of the Shoryo class. The new submarine retains the same general configuration of the Shoryo class submarine hull, but weighs more than 100 tons and has several design changes. The Take has a displacement of 3,000 tons, a length of 84 meters, a beam of 9.1 meters, and a draft of 10.4 meters. Her crew is 70 sailors. Compared to its predecessor, the Take was designed with a more streamlined hull and shrunken shell, making it quieter and more hydrodynamic. The new submarine has a significantly reduced warehouse, which is expected to be fitted into the hull to reduce drag and improve noise performance. In addition, the insides of the submarine have undergone significant changes. It is reported that the submarine has an improved snorkel system in order to reduce the signature. A new generation gas, new sound absorbing materials are used to reduce the submarine's signature. The main difference between the Take and the previous generation Soryo submarines was the removal of the Stirling engine. Instead, new lithium-ion batteries are installed. The Take is the world's first class of lithium-ion battery-powered submarines. Lithium-ion cells increase endurance at high speeds and allow submarines to charge faster as well as extend battery life compared to lead-acid batteries, the developer claims. They are also less cumbersome and require less maintenance. Japan has been working on using lithium-ion batteries for submarines since the early 2000s and is currently the only country with submarines powered by lithium-ion batteries. Even so, the lithium-ion battery and the bundle system are very expensive. Lithium-ion batteries also have a higher explosion risk, but that shouldn't be a problem for a country with advanced science and technology like Japan. The batteries are recharged using DSGR generators. According to Military Watch, the use of lithium-ion batteries significantly reduced the acoustic signature of DSGR electric submarines, eliminating from its propulsion system some of the moving parts usually found in air independent versions of the power unit.
the capabilities of Take Sonar and Combat Command System have been enhanced. It is also equipped with torpedo cannon measures, which is decoys to evade enemy torpedoes for improved survivability. Take weapons include six 533mm HU-606 torpedo tubes, which can launch TAF-89 torpedoes and harpoon anti ship missiles. TAF-89 is a torpedo manufactured by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, guided by wire, that features both active and passive homing modes, with a warhead weighing 295 kg. UGM-84 Harpoon is an anti-ship missile system operating in all weather with active radar navigation system. This missile has a maximum range of 124 km. Taike is scheduled to enter the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force service by March 2022. It is reported that the first submarine of the Take class will be used as a test submarine. In other words, Take will be the dedicated ship to conduct all future tests of technology on Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force submarines. The new submarines are part of Tokyo efforts to apply a sea denial strategy for boosting the country's maritime security and as a show of deterrence against China's growing assertiveness in the Eastern Pacific region. Advanced submarines allow a smaller submarine force to maintain an advantage over the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy submarine fleet. My video of Take Class submarines ends here. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting. Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.